Are you experiencing low self-esteem due to things like exams or stress from your friends or family? It's understandable that you might feel afraid to express how you feel, but don't worry, we're here to support you. Grab some popcorn, watch this video with your parents, and let us help you navigate this. You're not alone, and we're here to help you. Are you ready? Dear parents, have you ever felt like you're doing everything you can to be a great parent, but still worry that you might unintentionally harm your child's confidence? Parenting is a challenging yet rewarding journey, and it's natural to want the best for your children. However, even with the best intentions, certain behaviors or habits can have a negative impact on their self-confidence. Confidence is crucial for children's overall development, affecting their social skills, academic performance, and mental well-being. That's why it's important for parents to be mindful of how their actions may impact their child's confidence. With that said, here are three ways parents can unknowingly crush their child's confidence and how to fix them. Comparison. Do you ever find yourself comparing your child to their friends, hoping they'll excel and be successful? While it's natural to want the best for your children, constantly comparing them to others can have a negative impact on their self-esteem and confidence. According to Dr. Martin Seligman, an expert in positive psychology, the pressure to be better than their peers can make children feel inadequate and lower their self-esteem. Feeling like they are constantly being compared to others can also create a negative self-image in children, which can make them less likely to try new things. Instead, it's important to create a supportive and nurturing environment that allows children to develop their own sense of identity and self-worth. Encourage your child to pursue activities that they enjoy and celebrate their strengths and successes no matter how small. This will help build their confidence and self-esteem and ultimately contribute to their overall well-being. Criticism. The way parents talk to their children can impact their self-confidence and willingness to take risks. If parents are overly critical, it can lead to feelings of inadequacy and reluctance to try new things. Psychologist Dr. Carol Dweck warns that this kind of criticism can instill a fixed mindset in children where they believe their abilities can't be changed. Studies have shown that high levels of parental criticism can have long-term effects on a child's mental health, increasing the risk of anxiety and depression. If you are a parent, it's important to be mindful of how you offer feedback to your children. Rather than focusing on what they did wrong, focus on what they can do differently in the future. This constructive feedback can help build their self-confidence and encourage them to take on new challenges. How can you change the way you communicate with your children to offer more constructive feedback and build their self-confidence? Unrealistic expectations. When parents set expectations that are too high or beyond their child's capabilities, it can lead to immense pressure and stress, causing children to feel inadequate and lacking in self-confidence. Dr. Denise Pope, a senior lecturer at Stanford University, found that this can even lead to anxiety, depression, and physical health problems. In fact, a study in the Journal of Educational Psychology showed that setting unrealistic academic goals for children led to lower levels of engagement and achievement. Therefore, it's important for parents to set realistic expectations based on their child's abilities and interests. Focusing on the learning process and effort rather than solely on the end result can help foster a sense of accomplishment and positive self-esteem. This approach can encourage children to feel more confident and motivated to learn even when they face obstacles or challenges. We hope you found these tips helpful in boosting your child's confidence. If you have any other tips you'd like to share with us, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Here's the next chapter in our ongoing Psych2Go story series that we've been putting our hearts into. Our stories are more than just entertainment. They're a journey into the realms of mental health and relationships. Be a pioneer and explore our exclusive playlist. Stories that entertain, educate, and empower. What are you waiting for? I see you. Click on our playlist.